Hello, in this video we're going to go over the setup process for dynamic display campaigns in AdWords. Right here is our checklist of the six items that we're going to go through um, and we will take this in order starting with setting up feed links. So let's go ahead and get back to the inventory monitor system. From here, if you don't already have your account set up, of course, you're going to need to either request a new dealer account to be set up, or you'll be selecting the dynamic or marketing feed option. Or if you've got an existing account set up for search, then you can also just go into the dealer settings and add on the dynamic or marketing feeds to the existing account there. But once you do have your feed links, available and ready you can go into the inventory feed section and then you're going to want to go down to the dynamic remarketing and find the adwords feed link we do currently have them broken out here also by new only and used only but right now i'm going to use the entire feed this one includes 878 records don't forget to uh, before you start using the feed come in view your feed information make sure the images look correct make sure the prices are correct for the um, you know final price or internet price or whichever price that you're wanting to use but once you have confirmed that you can copy the feed link right here and then come over to your AdWords account. And this is uh, the new AdWords interface. And from here, we can go down to the business data section and we can add a new dynamic display ad feed. And for automotive, we're gonna select the custom option, give it a name, dynamic display. I'm gonna call mine test since I already have a few in here. Um, you're going to need to choose a file to start out. There is a, in our um, support documentation, we do have this empty file that only includes the, the column headers to get past this step. So I encourage you to go download that from the uh, help documentation. But I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. And there is our dynamic display test feed in there now. And you can see it did define all the columns with that empty uploaded file and from there you're going to move to schedules add a new schedule select the source for us we're going to use https and again this is where from the inventory monitor system you come back get your adwords dynamic or marketing feed click copy feed link and then back in here we want to paste it in here and then select your frequency. I'm going to select it every 12 hours. So the inventory monitor is going to update the file located here once a day, overnight. And then Google is going to check that every 12 hours for updated and refreshed data. So I'm going to click the Save button. And at this point, you're done with the inventory integration with AdWords by getting it into that business data feed. Okay, so let's go ahead and move back to our checklist. Um, we've already set up the feed links now, so we can move on to set up your remarketing audiences. So again, this is done within AdWords, and it's also down here in the shared library, and you'll want to go to the audience manager. And if you don't have a, um, a remarketing audience currently set up, you're going to want to Click the plus to add a remarketing list and actually you're going to do the um, add an additional audience source your first time. And this is where even if you do have a uh, remarketing set up that's not dynamic, you'll need to come down to audience sources to update that. And so from here, we're going to go into the AdWords tag details. And in here I'm going to edit so this is what it's going to look like when you're first creating um, the new source if you haven't done that yet but you'll want to get into this edit if you had it set up for just normal remarketing non-dynamic to make a few changes here so um, if you have it set up for non-dynamic it'll be this first radio button selected but we want to switch it to collect specific attributes or parameters to personalize ads and again we'll be using the custom business type for automotive 
And then in custom parameters, if it asks you which ones that we, we want to collect, we want to collect these three, the Dynex item ID, item ID 2, and page type. And from here, you can click Save and Continue, which will get you to the new type of remarketing script that we need to get added for AdWords. And for us to do the tag installation, you need to get this conversion ID, which you can see within the script right there. This one, 8683033338. And that's going to go into the uh, remarketing script installation form. Okay. And once you've done this, I've already done it in this account, but once you're done with that, you're going to see some new audiences created here and each with the custom tagged onto the end of it meaning we've got a custom business data feed that's going to be attached to this. And when we do set up our audience targets, we're going to want to be using product or service viewers. In our case, that's the viewer of a VDP. Okay, so let's go back to our checklist. And now that we've set up the remarketing audience, now we can go move on to the dynamic remarketing script or pixel installation. Pixel if you're using Facebook, but we're talking about AdWords right now. So this is dynamic script installation, and we do this for you. So once you've got that conversion ID, which we found in the code of that remarketing script, you can come back into the inventory monitor system on that same inventory feeds tab. Click the script installation button, and for AdWords, we just need to Flip on the AdWords, you paste in your conversion ID right here, and then before you check this box down here, which is required, you need to make sure that you have granted tech-support at hootinteractive.com access to a Google Tag Manager container that's published on the dealer's website. We need access to that uh, Google Tag Manager container for about one day typically, and then you can terminate our access, but we need that access to the container with this user and the conversion ID in order for us to complete the installation process. And you do also need to make sure that we have publish privileges. Um, oftentimes we get set up with read-only privileges. No, we cannot set, set up the um, remarketing scripts with read-only. And even if you give us the um, full edit privileges without publish, we're not able to actually launch that live and test it. So you want to give us published access to that, and only after you've done that and provided the conversion ID can you then click the request installation button, in which case you're going to receive a response back from support uh, shortly after that saying we've received your request, and then usually within 24 hours after that you'll receive another response back from support saying it is completed. Okay, so then we're then done with our remarketing script installation and we can move on to uh, more of the campaign setup. So this is uh, what you will be doing kind of after now the integration is in place. So the first thing you're going to need to do is associate your business data feed with your campaign. So if we go back into this AdWords campaign for Crown Nissan, just a demo account here, as you can see, um, it's not active. And from within here, I do have a get to my display campaign. There we go. And I'm going to click into the display campaign and down to the settings. And from within settings, additional settings, and if you scroll close to the bottom, you're going to see there is a dynamic ad section in the settings, and this is where you're going to check off, use a data feed for personalized ads, and then you'll be able to select the feed, like there's the test one dynamic display test that we just did a minute or so ago. Select the one that you want to use. You can have multiple, but of course, um, each feed has to be, there's only one feed per campaign. So if you are using two separate feeds, maybe one for used, one for new, those will have to be put in separate campaigns. And click the save, and you are now done with the settings, and you can move on to the next step, which is define your audience targets. And that, of course, is done in the audiences section within that campaign. And for this, I just need to make sure that, oh, it needs me to select an ad group. So let me get into, we'll do the dynamic remarketing. And for the remarketing, so I'm going to select that option. 
you if you want the dynamic remarketing to be based on what the the vehicles that the user looked at on the dealer's website you do want to pick from the custom dynamic audiences and again you're going to want to select the product or service viewers which would mean viewers of specific vehicle detail pages okay now of course um, you can still set up feeds going to other types of audiences and especially um, intent you might want to use the in-market audiences so autos and vehicles and you can take this down to get it very granular so keep expanding this out and oh I got to vehicles other we don't want vehicles other motor vehicles okay so all intenders or in market uh, audiences users who are shopping for a new vehicle all those looking for used vehicles you can get this down by specific brands so I'm looking for people you know shopping for new Chevrolets only for maybe the Chevrolet dealership or by type so maybe only people looking for a truck I know a truck is down here somewhere pickup trucks right there okay so that is also an option don't forget about your in-market audiences great way to attract new customers that haven't been to your site yet and we do have the ability to go ahead and filter your feeds for um, things like just a particular make of vehicle so you can get just the Chevrolet vehicles targeted to that Chevrolet in-market audience so now you're done with the defining your audience targets and you can move on to create your ads and that has become quite simple in the new AdWords interface because they only give you one option to create a responsive dynamic ad and it is pretty much um, follow their next 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 and put in the requested information and your ads will be built and then you're ready to go live with your dynamic display campaigns in AdWords.